I'm really excited to be here in Montreal. We have an annual GNOME Summit, and we're having it here in Montreal where GNOME developers come together to work on ways to make GNOME and free software better. Um, GNOME is organized together in a nonprofit, and the idea is basically to make software that better society. We have an annual European conference, which is our pretty much our biggest conference. And then um, developers that were based in the United States and in North America generally wanted to get together. So we met up in Boston every year. Then one year, there was a pitch to have it in Montreal. And at first the reaction was, but we always have it in Boston. And then we realized that we had so many contributors in Montreal and there were so many great tech companies that um, are operating in our space that we decided to alternate every year. So now we do one year in Boston and one year in Montreal. I would say it's slow going. There are some governments that are very clued in to why free and open source software is so important and then other governments that aren't. Um, with the Obama administration, there was a real push for transparency, but I think that we haven't seen a lot of the promise that we had um, expected at the beginning of the administration. So I think there's really a lot of work to be done. In some areas of Europe, there are um, governments in Spain or government agencies in Spain that are using wholly free and open um, distributions, which is wonderful. Um, but then there are other areas of Europe where it's very difficult to get a foot in. And I think it's, you know, when you deal with such big countries and such big, uh, you know, areas of the world and so many different uh, governments and so many different functionalities, you know, it's, it's tough. We basically have to deal with them, you know, one at a time and explain that as a global society we'll be so much better off if we adopt free and open source software. Um, but in Brazil, there was a, a contest where um, people were invited to come and hack into the software and find vulnerabilities. And people who found vulnerabilities would get prizes. And vulnerabilities were found. And the software is now safer because of it. It's a very basic rationale. It's counterintuitive at first for people to understand that free and open source software is safer and better over time. But once they get it, they really get it and then they benefit from it. So the GNOME Summit tends to be a, a less formal affair. We come and we work on whatever needs to be worked on. But there are some really cool things that are being worked on now. For example, um, there's a, a really big group of people working on our accessibility. Now accessibility is exactly the kind of thing that you want done in a free and open environment. You know, we have a couple of blind people here. Um, and they will work on the software because it, it benefits them. And what's amazing is that the proprietary solutions require licenses, so the minute that you lose your job or you graduate from the university that you were in, you are left without the ability to use your computer anymore. But with free and open source software, that's not the case. Free software has your back. Free software is there. But um, proprietary software, you have to find another job in order to just get that expensive proprietary license again. So it's really, really tough. So accessibility is one of those key things that we are working on today. I think it's one of the, the most important things. It's very expensive for any one company to solve that problem. But if we all band together, it becomes much more affordable. And and if you also bring together all the people who have an interest in providing solutions to people who have um, problems with uh, seeing and people who have problems hearing, you know, we'll be better over time. And what people I think don't understand is that we as computer users will all need this technology over time. So even if you're a young, able um, computer user, which we all are, we're going to need magnification. We're going to need ways to use our computers, which we don't have already. So that's one of the things that we're working on. And then we're working on a lot of other things today, um, ways to improve the desktop generally and all of the applications in it. Um, there was a session on notifications. There was a session on boxes. Um, I think we're going to work on a lot of great stuff. And if you have not tried GNU Linux, you should go ahead and do so and use GNOME as your desktop. It's really it's easy to use. It's fun. And you'll never want to go back.